My name is Morgan and I am the director of series for Miami Activities and Programming or MAP and I'm so excited that you're here to paint with us today and we're so excited to be partnering with Your Fire too. In a few minutes someone from Your Fire is going to teach you how to write love and honor on your canvas. They've also provided you with a lot of fun stencils that you can use to make your canvas your own. Make sure to follow MAP on Instagram at Miami underscore MAP and send us your finished canvases so we can feature them on our story. Thanks so much for joining and have so much fun painting. Bye. Hi everyone, we're your Fired. We're a paint your own pottery studio located up uptown Oxford. We're super excited to be partnering with MAPS, which is an organization at Miami. We're gonna show you how to paint this super fun project. It looks kind of graffiti-like, but you can make it any way you want. We're gonna give you step-by-step -step how to do it, what's in your bag, and let's get started. So right here, I'm showing you that there's two sides to the carbon paper that you'll pull out of your bag. There's a shiny side and a not shiny side. You're gonna place the shiny side down, and then over top of it, you're gonna pick out the stencil that you want and start tracing it with a pencil. That pencil is gonna transfer the carbon onto the piece and then you'll have a perfect image that you can just fill in with paint later. You will repeat this process with all the stencils that you'd like, place them wherever you want, and you can also reuse that carbon paper as many times. This is a little banner that we just freehanded. We didn't think you needed a stencil for that. It's just a line of some triangles. The next thing you'll see me doing is the hand lettering part. Hand lettering is super easy. You really just gotta find your own style. I always recommend just writing it in cursive the way you're comfortable with. And really the key trick is, as you can see what I'm doing here, is all the downstrokes you're gonna make thicker than the upstrokes. Um, you'll see it again later when I show you how to hand letter with the Sharpie. But everything that's a downstroke, just make it a little thicker with the line and then you'll see how beautiful this turns out. We have provided you guys with three different colors, so you'll have to make your own gray. And that's really easy. In the video, you can see I start with white and you want to add just a little bit of black. You don't want to go overboard with that at all. It's better to start with a little bit and just add more black until you get the desired gray that you want. Again, here is our hand lettering. You can see how much it pops and you can use the Sharpie for this. We actually recommend that. It's a lot easier to handle than a brush, but if you want to use the paint, you're welcome to go for it. We also recommend using the Sharpie to fill in the details that you see on the stencil. So you'll just go around the entire piece wherever you see a black outline. Again, you can use paint if you want, but just Sharpie over that. Same with the banner. You definitely want to wait until this is nice and dry to do it so you don't smear your paint. Um, as you can see there, we just wrote in Miami. You can write whatever you want, totally up to your creative freedom. And the Ohio, I did outline and paint just to show that it can be done, whatever you're more comfortable with. And then here I sped up the process because it's really just adding little confettis everywhere. We added stars just to fill in the areas. Once you're done with all of that, you can see that I'm easily erasing all of my pencil marks because I didn't go over exactly what I had traced on. The carbon will also erase off and then you have your final project. We're so excited to see everyone's finished projects. Please tag us on Instagram, Facebook so that we can see them and see what creative ideas you guys came up with. Again, we're located on 6 North Beach Street in Uptown Oxford. We included a coupon in your bag, so please come check us out. We'd love to see how creative you can do with pottery as well. Thanks for watching and happy painting!